Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I need to do a little bit of data processing, um, and I'm going to use org mode for it in Emacs. So I figured I'd make a little video on that. Uh, let's see. So uh, this is some data for my lab students, and what it's going to look like is we're just going to have some tables uh, with some masses on this side, and some volumes on the right. Okay, so, and then they had to do three trials at each mass. Oh my goodness. And then they had four different masses. So this should be one zero. Oh, I guess I could turn on screen key. One phi and two zero. So let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this table a name real quick because I'm gonna have to do. Uh, so I think the TBL name has been deprecated, so we gotta use just name. I'll call this group one. Uh, okay, six, five, seven. So on my other monitor, I just have uh, emails from the students where they had to send me their data. Because I'm supposed to aggregate the data and then send it back uh, out to the whole class. Name group two. So I've got six of these to do. Plus time for the next group. Okay, anyway, there we go. Alright, so group one. So the next thing to do is I'm going to make an awk source block. And the first thing I usually like to do, well, I'm going to give it a name. Because what we're going to end up doing is we're going to call the awk source block. So I'll give this a name. Uh, let's call it block. Uh, okay, so the first thing to do, you know, just uh, print. Just uh, print, no matter what. Okay, and so the way you would call this is you call block standard in and then group one. Okay, so you're seeing we're just printing this. Uh, so now, what? Alright, I know I fixed that. Uh, oh, wait, no. Uh, it's an ornament. Yeah, is this. Current window. What? No, it's supposed to be other window. Alright. That is the instructions for the lab. <coughs> Okay. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, that's fine. So what I'm hitting, yeah, Control C. This just lets me edit the source block directly. So uh, in R equals one, I do just want to print. Uh, in R greater than one. So for those of you not familiar with awk, uh, this is like the number, the row number. Uh, or the line, basically, in the file. Oh, man. Let's not do that. Oh, why is it group, group one? Org babel. Okay. Org confirm babel evaluate. So I'm going to add a file local variable. File local prop line. Uh, or babel eval confirm eval nil and now it shouldn't ask me every time I do this fantastic okay so this is very simple we're just printing like usual okay so now basically what I want to do is I'm going to take advantage of the fact that um, arrays are basically uh, maps 
So I'm just going to use the, the first element as a key. Just to give a little bit of uh, information about awk, let me, let me show you guys what this looks like. So I can use printf. $1 is the first column, $2 is the second column. So I have, oh, uh, I forgot the new line, of course, with printf. Uh, and you're actually not seeing the arrow because of how, um, oh, because I was evaluating in the wrong spot. Yeah, so uh, one thing that's uh, kind of nice and kind of annoying, depending on the situation, is that uh, org mode will convert the results back to a table. And my robot vacuum is trying to eat my book stand. <coughs> Uh, okay, yeah, so I mean if I give it like results raw or something it would be, it would show better, but so yeah, this is all we're doing. Dollar one again is the first column, dollar two is the second column. So I'm going to use the first column as an index into an array. Um, yeah, and I don't need to initialize it or anything because Auk will take care of that. So all I'm going to do is uh, average these across the runs. Well, you know what we can do, just to make it easy, is uh, count. And then I can actually stop sorting as well. One, <laughs> two, two, three, four. Sample. Uh, no, not sample, set. Okay, so let me just put this in front of all of them. Okay, so now we can fix this. All right, so now I these indented like this. I want to do mass of dollar one plus equals dollar two and balls of dollar one equals plus equals dollar three. Don't have to sort anymore. Now I can do for i equals one i less than equal to 4, i plus plus, uh, yes, <coughs> I just do, um, let me just copy this, because this should, this is still going to be right. Uh, now I want to print, Empty. So that's i, and I want mass of i over 3, uh, balls of i over 3. Okay, that should work. I guess I'm done with that. See, I just, I don't know why it's that slow. It shouldn't be that slow. 675.93. Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now we actually need to convert to moles. All right, so let's just so we can write functions actually in awk. Uh, mg mole. Probably it's more uh, awkish to do this. Mg moles. We'll just take a value in moles. All right, not uh, in this. And I'm going to return. I'm going to check the molar mass. Well, actually, you know what I can do? Okay, what's the molar mass of magnesium? 24.305. Uh, and the dimensional analysis is uh, G and G. Uh, So we divide by this so D over this. Beautiful.
And we're gonna multiply by a million because they want this in uh, micromoles. That is looking quite reasonable. Yes. Four, six, eight. Beautiful. Okay, and actually, I will pull up my scratch buffer uh, because I was working on this earlier. So the temperature for us was, uh, I think it was 21, let's go with 21 degrees Celsius, 273.15 plus 294. Now I need to do the H2 moles. What? Just not. Oh. Function H2 moles V. <coughs> so basically, for this one, we're using uh, PV equals nRT and solving for N. So N equals PV over RT with T equals 294.15. Uh, Kelvin. And then the pressure. Yeah, I just called it one atmosphere. P equals one atmosphere. And R in those units is 0 0.08205. L, ATM. And minus one. K minus one. Results in micro. VNL results and we'll do results in the same thing. Okay, so as you can see down here, uh, we're assuming P times V, so V is the argument, and the return P times V over R times T, R equals 2.08205, uh, 205, T equals 2.94.15, and P equals 1. That's easy enough. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to, now we multiply by a million, 26. And let's see how that looks. And it didn't do anything because I didn't tell it to. Do. Whoa. <coughs> what? Micro models. Did I? Oh, 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 the volumes I have are in milliliters. So I need to multiply by only a thousand. That makes sense. Is that right? PGRT. Yeah, yeah, I should do it. Okay. Yes, now that looks reasonable. Okay, great. So all I really need to do is uh, call that on each one and send it off to the students. So that's not too bad. Uh, as you'll see now, if I just two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, two. Let's 
six. Oh, yeah, get, get out of no, no, no. <laughs> I closed the calculator. Okay. So now. Let's make sure that's the only place. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now. Oh, I forget. I'll just put them. I'll just combine them manually. It's not a big deal. So yeah, that should do it. Uh, that might have been a really boring video. <laughs> Maybe I won't even uh, post this one. But we got to do a little bit of awk, uh, a little bit of playing with org mode, um, and I yeah, I just really love both awk and org mode actually. If you can get your hands on a copy of the awk programming language, I highly recommend that. Um, the book uh, and. Awk is great. This is uh, this is really this is how I do all of my data analysis basically for research. Well, I've started trying to use a little bit of Python and pandas, but um, my first few papers it was just awk and sed and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully you guys can put this to use. And before you uh, you comment telling me that it has spreadsheet capabilities, I do know that, uh, but I've just never been able to really put it to use. Um, and I, I, I like writing awk actually uh, more than trying to do spreadsheets inside the word tables so anyway I uh, hope you guys enjoy this and I'm going to go ahead and send this off to my students uh, thanks for watching as always and I'll see you next time